So we did it. We had our inaugural kickoff service for the Bend International Church of Christ. Uh, over 150 disciples came in to visit us from all over the country. They flew in from Michigan, Indiana, Texas. I'm incredibly encouraged and proud of the Bend Mission team who really pulled together. They were united in the spirit. There's a lot of work to get done, a lot of organization, passing out invitations, letter folding, so many things. Um, and they did it all. Um, they made it such a delight. We're really thankful for all the congregations in Oregon who came out, especially the Eugene Church and even the Boise Church over in Idaho. So many disciples came out to join our family, to celebrate with us and to encourage us. Uh, we just feel so empowered by you guys. We feel empowered by the Holy Spirit. So even though next week we're gonna drop back down and no longer have 150 people and we'll be in a small house church, uh, we have enough knowing that you guys are supporting us knowing that Jesus is our motivation, our inspiration, and we're gonna keep fixing our eyes on him, sharing the gospel with this city. So some people are coming from ministries where they haven't led songs. Some people are coming from our house church services where there aren't microphones and there aren't more than 20 people, but um, everybody's doing a really good job of being willing to go up there and lead people's hearts. I am so excited to hear the worship team again. They've been sounding amazing the whole weekend and just getting to hear so many people sing together. It's so encouraging. Yes, I'm so excited. Everybody has put in a ton of work and the Ben group has just been incredible servants and I'm really excited to just see it all come together. Tons of hours of prep work, lots of worship practice. Um, I mean, all the like room reservations and Nadia has been in charge of the housing for everybody that's come to visit. So lots of different stuff. It's been so much fun. Like we get to meet people from our age and older from everywhere and they've driven like an hour and a half to like six hours or done flights and just realizing like a lot of us are in the same place even if we're so spread out and getting to hear their stories and just super great talking to like the girls stayed with me or super similar even though like without this I don't think we would have met anytime soon. So it's it's great getting to meet all these new faces. And Eugene uh, we had near 500 at that uh, inaugural service on October 27, uh, 25th. And then the very next Sunday, uh, we had a, a worship service that was uh, maybe 50. <laughs> so you, you kind of went from almost 500 to 50, you're like, where's everybody? <laughs> but we realized, uh, you know, this is the team we had to work with, it was that Sunday after inaugural service. This, this is the family God's given us, and that's who we want to work with. We, we love the excitement of, of the, the first Sunday, the big, big Sunday. But we realize we, we have a lot of work to do here and, and uh, a lot of trust in God and a lot of trust in each other and uh, be willing to get out and, and teach the scriptures and teach about the love of God, the gospel of Jesus Christ uh, to see this church built because, uh, you know, we had a group that was loving God, but it was small and we wanted to see it grow and, uh, and God's blessed it that way. But the inaugural service is a lot of fun. It'll be very inspiring. Yet we want to realize God has given us a team of people. That's who we're working with to, to win the city. Another interesting, um, idea came to our, our minds and uh, it was the idea of starting different fellowships and house churches and churches throughout the, the state of Oregon. And here I just sit now with this video in Bend, Oregon. And uh, after Joey Madison Hungerford decided to move here from uh, Eugene to uh, start God's church here. And many have joined them in that, uh, that process, and that idea and that uh, uh, love of God to start his church here as well. Over the summer, we've been able to go to Boise, go to Eugene, go to all these places, fellowship with all these churches. But um, now is our opportunity to say, hey, come to us. We're here now, this is our home, come celebrate with us. There's been a lot of prep work into putting this weekend together, a lot of people planning, saying, I can do this, I can bring this, I can be here, I can do that. But um, honestly, since this weekend's been going on, it hasn't been that much work. Um, it's not work to have yourself surrounded by friends and family. Um, when you're with people you love, I mean, it's not it's not service, it's just you know what we do. The Bend inaugural service is about Ephesians 2, where God is continuing to create one family. This is an opportunity for the church in Boise to support, love our brothers and sisters, both for the inaugural service today and for as long as we are here on this planet, we'll continue to love and support Bend and, and support Boise. So it represents family. It represents change throughout the 
Oregon and Idaho and Montana and throughout the Northwest. It's inspiring to see the Spirit of God at work through you all, Your, how He has brought you together as a family. Uh, there's an excitement for the work at hand, the work ahead. It's a great expectation of God moving and working. And We love the Bend family. The Treasure Valley Church, like I said, until Jesus comes back, we are your brothers and sisters. We are family, we are one. And I know that when you need us, we'll be here. And when we need you, we will. you will be there for us. And I wanna thank you for this weekend. I wanna thank you for your love. I wanna thank you for your faith. And I wanna thank you for your partnership throughout the years to come. Bring glory and honor to him in your life, in your deeds, really in your in your words that it's not about you it's your faith is about Jesus working through you and we are just so humbled and filled with great expectation that he would want to work through us and so when he does and as he does we glorify him I think the the greatest part of the service was Ireland Mays getting baptized our our, our teenager here our kingdom kid she has an incredible heart for Jesus and you know it just reminded us not to fall in love with our own reflection, not to fall in love with the, the big church service, with the technology and the microphones and everything, but to remember that we have a heart for Jesus, uh, to remember that He's our inspiration, He's what we're holding on to. So even as we transition here in Bend into, into larger services, into bigger auditoriums, um, we always want to have a small family gathered around a table, proclaiming Jesus, proclaiming the gospel to one another, and remembering why we do it all.